And now I have begun anew. Welcome back, guys, to part two of Recruiting Morbius. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I was cutting it close. And it does not allow me to post more than an hour. Believe me, I tried that once. It didn't work. That's why I ended up with a short little Date with Strange video you got. Anyway, as I was saying, objective, protect device, defeat all enemies before they can destroy the device. Enemy reinforcements will grow try stronger over time, so try to gain an early advantage. I cannot allow them to destroy my work. Protect my equipment. You left out some important details of your research, Doc. Some things are better left unsaid, but it was all necessary. Tutorial. Protect the device. Enemies that display this indicator will attack the device on their turn. Defeat or control these enemies to protect the device. Boy. I am so glad I separated this into two parts. My strength still grows. Woohoo! Right? I smell that. So good. Don't blame. I had to protect the device. Are you kidding me? Getting better every day. Right, I don't have enough heroism. So let's redraw that. Kill this guy first. Oh! That was the guy with the card. The kick. Check something. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, car play refunded. Let's try this. I'm going for it. Hi, feeling it. Okay, I am out of card play, so this works. Try this on and it did, but he's not the one with the card. Yeah, there's literally nothing else I can do. Well, I can't play him anyway, so what does it matter? This ain't good. Reinforcements. Good. I knew you couldn't be trusted, Morbius. Hydra or not, this is wrong. Look, Hydra has done the gamma in was too profound to ignore. So you've been using them as some kind of guinea pigs? Sounds a little unethical, Doc. As opposed to the gentle treatment you and your friends give them. Big difference. Ah! Ah! 
That didn't do much damage, but hey. Let's try Shadow Strike. Two dead. And one critically injured. Call that a win. Okay, that was pretty cool. Of course, that guy. Well, we forgot about that guy. Ooh, I like it. Right. Let's see if this works. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Can't do it anyway. Please tell me this thing's not going to be destroyed. If my research here can help you defeat Hydra, and I've removed some of them from the front lines in the process, I don't see the harm. Heroes usually stand against human experimentation and false imprisonment. Because it's, you know, evil. Rarely have I ever been accused of being a hero. But your words are lost. Objective. One wave remains. One more wave of enemy reinforcements remains. Okay, let's repair this thing. This took a lot of damage. I'm repairing in the middle of combat. And no one's doing anything. Are you kidding me? Let's see. <sighs> Both my cards were awful. Thing real quick. Watch. <sighs> Just stunned. Well, at least he's not gonna hurt that thing. at all, Morbius. You're just lucky I'm working with the Suns again. As opposed to what? Me leaving you here with your experiments. Permanently. Maybe we can all hug this out later.
I got enough heroism. Ow. I'm not really into guns, but you make a compelling argument. All right. Okay, only got two left. And I'm gonna kill the one that's gonna attack the device. This would be a lot easier if you guys just give up now. I forgot about that guy. Wish I had some super healing right about now. Really? They're that far away. I'm going for it. That's one hell of a move. Are you kidding me? Now remember who started this. You know, you're pretty good at this. Totally made the right call splitting this into two parts. I don't do so hot on these missions. No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong. Not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master. Right, Doc? If I may, there are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. This once. Okay, that's why Hunter didn't go. Because Hunter would be hesitant to have a vampire on their team. Talk to Morbius real quick. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. Morbius, who is sadly not on this list. Is he under Michael? Seriously, why is Morbius not on my list? Venom's on here, Morbius is not. I'm gonna have to look for Morbius separately. Sorry, it's taking a while. You are more than welcome. You surprised me earlier, and I do not like surprises. But any friend of Peter is a friend of mine. I am relieved to hear it. You have a wonderful home, 
and a great many resources. I look forward to making use of them. Uh, how do you think you will help? I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. Oh, of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. I think this could work. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. You will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. I have questions. I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. What is a living vampire? I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. What were you like before your powers? Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were side effects. What is your history with Blade and Spider-Man? You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. What are your powers? I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. What about your vampire vulnerabilities? Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. What do you eat? 
Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days and only feed on those who prey on others. Okay, I'm cool with that. I have to go. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk anytime. Woohoo! We got Morbius! We got Morbius! I gotta do some new some nighttime things real quick. Checking the barracks again. And they are once again unopened. Let's see. If Blade is worried about this guy, it must be dangerous. I got a compliment. Let's see. I'm the first guy who'll tell you not to judge a book by its cover, but a few of Morbius's pages are stuck together. I can't say more. Gotta keep it T-rated. Okay, I'm gonna compliment Deadpool real quick. But your ability to see the bright side is refreshing. You sure know how to make a merc feel special. Well, let me talk to Captain Anything Marvel. Anything else quick. on your mind? About Morbius's prototype sample. What happens if Hydra successfully replicates Morbius's prototype sample? Sunproof vampires seem like a bad idea for all involved. Maybe not for the vampires. For now, it's just a scary theory. Even if it works, there could be side effects, like new breed vampires bursting into flame upon contact with oxygen. Yeah, wishful thinking, but prototypes can be unpredictable. Just to ask Hank Pym about Ultron. I should go. Thanks, Carol. See ya. Okay, talk to Spider-Man real quick. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before. You know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A Snarly teddy bear. With fangs. But there's stuffing in there, somewhere. This is not helping your argument. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart. And exceptionally good blood. Good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further, if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, We'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. Anything happening today? Didn't Robbie tell you about the... Ah, oh, dang it. Can you do me a favor? Go talk to Robbie, like, right now. Pretend I said nothing. What is Robbie planning? Oh, he's really excited and wants to tell you himself. I swore I'd say nothing, but I thought you'd talk to him already. This is the reason I don't own plants. I have no idea what you mean. Right. Go talk to Robbie. Do it tonight. Trust me. Can you give me a hint about what Robbie wants? Nope. He'll explain everything. Just find him before the night's end, okay? You brought up plants. Does it have anything to do with plants? No, I got nervous, and sometimes when I'm nervous, I... Look, it's not relevant. Go talk to Robbie, okay? I thought he meant when he said plants that he doesn't have plants because he'd forget to feed them. Woohoo! Cred's still around! It's Robbie. Gotta talk to Blade first. As long as Morbius is around, Hunter, you better watch your back and your front. Blade, are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. All right, find Blade on here, and I hope they're. I hope whoever wrote this remember to write in the Blade stuff.
Well, I'm on Captain America. When does he show up to the game? Friendship level for Blade. Okay, whoever wrote this must have wrote this before Morbius got added as DLC. I'll follow your lead. If this was a mistake, let me know. We will do whatever you think is best. Hey, I don't want that responsibility. If this goes south, I'm not taking the blame. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. So Morbius is just a tool to you? Call it whatever you want. I call it practical. I better talk to Doctor Strange and Iron Man real quick. Doctor, meet the doctor. Now, the Abbey has as many PhDs as you find on your average golf course. We've met. Dr. Morbius, so good to see you again. Doctor Strange, still patrolling the spiritual realm, I see. I'd love to get set up as quickly as possible in here. Start learning the lay of the land so I can help out. Well, set up your little test tubes anywhere you'd like. Just don't touch any of my stuff. And there are several mystical artifacts in here that no one should look at directly. Don't look and don't touch. You'll really know how to make a colleague feel at home. Just remember that's only an expression. And you don't actually own any of this. But we really are glad to have you. I can tell. All right, they're all done talking, so I'm going to talk Checking to Morbius. Checking already, Hunter. I haven't had time to get into trouble. You can never be sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? All right. I would like to know more about you. Naturally. I am an open book. Okay, that... Okay, this is useless. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk anytime. What? Still yes. up on him? Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk anytime. Okay, now it's gone. Talk to Doctor Strange real Steven, quick. have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a Fear Lord from the Dream Dimension. Fear Lords are powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. Wait. What should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Steven, I need details. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us, but I do not think that will happen. All right, and now Tony. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am... Uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Or your pocketbook. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. 
but every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius's papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. So, you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. Alright, let's see. There's only one person left, and it's Ghost Rider himself, Robbie. Hold on, let me get that. Hey, uh, can you help me out? What's happening, Hunter? Miss him hey, for Hunter, a minute. Parker and I cooked something up, and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if if you're free. <laughs> I'm interested. I could be free. Right on. Then let's head over to the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. I tell you what, if you come with me, just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. You convinced me. Let's go. All right. Where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it! Told you. You want to give the rundown, or should I? I got this. I am at a car shop. Okay, not what I expected, but... Hey, I guess that's pretty cool. I talked to Robbie. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me? It's a piece of home away from home. What do you do here? Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hell Ride and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. Why call it the shop? You call it the shop, but I see nothing for sale. That's the beauty. For me, it's an auto shop. For Parker, it's a workshop. We're both wondering what it's going to be for you. Why here? Why not the forge? There must be a reason you do this here instead of the forge. Two reasons. Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. We wanted a place with good vibes and less bickering. Where we could focus on a project without the smartest men in the world telling us how to do it better. Shop is where you work things out for yourself. Last question, why am I here? I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things, you did the work. So we want to make things with you, help you do the work. All right, I gotta look up Robbie Ray's. I'm on Morbius's section. Maybe he's under Ghost Rider. I couldn't find him at first, but maybe I need to look under the G's. Alright, I found him. Sorry, it took a while.
let's see. Wow, I love that idea. You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. Oh, now it appears over its, it's head. It's all pretty neat, huh? There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. Interesting. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote. Makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a uh, symbiote muffler? Ha! Huh. It is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? No. But Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit. But we can have it ready pretty quick. I'm glad to be a part of this. I look forward to seeing it in action. I knew you'd be into this! We are going to make so many weird things together. Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but if there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right. More things I gotta gather. What fun. Symbiote muffler. Combat. Item. Select a hero. They are immune to the next negative status effect. Free. Zinger protocol. Give two random cards in your hand free until... They are played or discarded. Free. Ooh. Oh, and it uh, runs like a So, how'd it turn out? Better than expected. Sick. So I can only pick one of them. Can't talk to Robbie. So that's the shop. What do you think? It's perfect. You and Parker have outdone yourselves. Then think of what the three of us can do. I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again. Shop class? Right. That's what we're calling our time here. See you then. Parker, you sticking around? You're asking me if I'm sticking around? Ha! <laughs> Walked into that one. Like a spider web? What do you say? Dude, don't make me roll up a newspaper. Not many of those left. Good for me. Bad for democracy. But yeah, I'll be around. Right, so... That was the shop. Let's see. Oh, I gotta pay for that. It does not look good enough to pay for, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, the Emo Kids one looks better. Yeah, I bet Peter Parker has it too. Okay, all of these cost money. Hold on. No, I like the demon spider better than the symbiote suit. No, I've heard people- If Morbius is anything like Blade, I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Uh, no one to hang out with tonight. We aren't running a hole for wayward vampires, Hunter. 
this literally the only thing I can purchase hmm. in the gift shop? Kind of hmm. a letdown. Yeah, I still need some money to keep purchasing some upgrades in my room. Alright, getting another upgrade. And table frame. Alright, and now I'm going to go to bed in my clothes again. Do not do this in real life. The tower bells are ringing. <laughs> my favorite childhood prank. But I have not heard them in so long. Caretaker must be wincing right now. Oh, maybe this was her idea of a joke. Deadpool, your wisecracking anti-hero Merc tagline is pretty awesome. If you give me it, if you gave me a tagline, what would it be hypothetically? If I did that hypothetically, I go with naive newcomer with a superpowered dark side. Peter's the relatable heart of gold. Nico's goth boss witch. I expected worse, so. Thanks, I guess. Am I the other goth witch? You're the dreaded anti-villain action limbo sorceress queen with a cool sword. Hmm, I don't completely hate it. Deadpool, well done. That's high praise and magic talk. Youngsters, Gen Z, Generation Alpha, kids who are the future. Whatever you call yourself, you know it's cool, right? Do we? Are vampires cooler or campier than old school vampires? What's the vibe? I don't know. They're both things we kill. You know what I think? We do not. Vampires live in the moment. Like nothing matters. Like there's no tomorrow. They don't care if they use each other's toothbrushes or take a bite from the last bagel and put it back. The bite and the bagel. Maybe we can learn something from them. Not at least specific. Did you do any of that? Possibly or maybe, maybe we all have an air vampire. We should listen to it from time to time. Ah, that Deadpool. See the messages? Hey Hunter, Peter has party decorations ready to go. The last person to speak with is Caretaker. She spent hundreds of years learning how to make the perfect cake. I'm sure she can whip up something magical, love. I will ask Caretaker. Alright, Spider-Man. Hey Hunter, here's the components li list we want you to bring to the second meeting of shot class. Tack Essence, 25. Common Blueprint, 1. Don't worry if you can't, we'll still be able to finish the project. But if you can, we might have enough to build both of the options we discussed. See you then. More earlier, we do live in the same building and punch Hydra together. Okay, uh... Now let's check the research. <sighs> Still need to upgrade two blade abilities. All right, now I'm going to have to say goodbye, like, right now, and where did Charlie go? Well, okay, forgetting Charlie for a minute, uh, I'm going to have to say goodbye for now, because this video went on a lot longer than it should have, because I wasn't anticipating how long Morbius was, and this is the conclusion of the Morbius mission. Next time, I think I'm going to try and bring in one of the DL characters. If not, I'll be going on a regular mission. More hanging out and more upgrading at the yard. <laughs> anyway, this is Suburban Time Waster signing out. Feel free to like and subscribe.